And joining us right now, uh, Senator Ted Cruz joins us. Sir, you're in Indiana. Where are you? Tony, good morning. It, it is great to be be with you. You know, I've been barnstorming the state, traveling all, all around. We, we're doing a, a bus tour, and we've been all over the state. I'm in Indianapolis today, but we've been all over the state. Now, I... I want to get into the campaigning you've been doing. I want to talk about what's going on today with those uh, mid primaries. But i got to start with this conversation, what broke yesterday, um, what some are referring to as collusion, others are referring to as uh, a tag team, others referring to as smart politics. This relationship now with Governor Kasich, where Governor Kasich is spending in Indiana, giving you more opportunity to win here. You are not going to run in Oregon and New Mexico, giving them a chance in those proportional states. Um, are people wrong to say this is collusion or this is somehow some some of the insider establishment backhandedness that people despise in politics? <laughs> well, it, it, it's exactly the opposite. What, what Donald Trump calls collusion is, is, is actually called coalition building, uh, and, and it is how you win. To win, you've got to build a majority. And I understand that this is something very foreign, to Donald Trump because he has not been able to build a majority anywhere. The only state he's won a majority in is his home state uh, of New York, and, and you cannot become the nominee if you cannot earn a majority even of Republicans. And and, and listen, John Kasich and I, we, we have some policy disagreements. There are issues on which we, we view things differently. But I'll tell you what we do agree with. We both agree that Hillary Clinton would be disastrous for this country. And that nominating Donald Trump ensures a Hillary Clinton win. If Donald Trump is the nominee, Hillary wins, and she wins by double digits. And so uh, John Kasich made the decision to pull out of Indiana and to focus elsewhere. And, and, as a, and we are all in in Indiana. We're barnstorming the state. I'm in a bus with, with my daughters traveling the state. And, you know, I would make a, a, a very direct appeal uh, to, to the John Kasich supporters in Indiana. If you don't want to see Hillary Clinton as president, if you don't want to see Donald Trump as the nominee, which ensures that Hillary Clinton becomes president, then I ask for your support, because the only way to beat Trump here in the state of Indiana uh, is to unify behind our campaign. And, and so I ask for your support. And we're seeing that unity every day. We're seeing the Republican Party coming together. But have, have, are we seeing the beginning and the formations of a ticket? Is this conversation, this this newfound friendship, listen, if Bob Dole and Jack Kemp can do it, certainly you can with, with John <laughs> Kasich. Are we seeing a presidential, vice presidential ticket forming? Oh, I think that is very, very premature. I, I respect John Kasich. He, he is a good and capable man. Uh, but, but I think at this point we've made a decision about allocation of resources. We have decided to go all in on the state of Indiana. I think the Hoosier state is going to have a pivotal role. Uh, and John Kasich has made a decision to pull out of Indiana and focus his, his resources el elsewhere. And I think both of those decisions make uh, eminent sense from the perspective of the campaigns and, and, and what needs to get done. So and, you were, and I'll yeah, I was going to say you were in, you were in Franklin, uh, Indiana yesterday. This is you from Franklin, Indiana, talking about Carrier, something that's been a big subject here sure. in Indianapolis. Here's what I'm going to do for Carrier. We're going to pass a flat tax, lift the regulations, lift the burdens that drove them overseas. And in a few years, carrier and companies all over the world are going to be coming back to America, not because some bully threatened them, but because we created the most attractive job-creating environment on the face of the earth. The bully you're talking about is Donald Trump with his 35% tax, a tariff, if you will. You're talking about flat taxes and regulations. Give me the difference between what Donald Trump is proposing and what Ted Cruz is proposing. Well, listen, when it comes to the economy, Donald really doesn't have any concrete proposals for the economy. The only thing he's put out there is he's proposed a massive either 35 or 40 percent tariff on all imported goods. A tariff is a tax. What that means is that when you or I go to the store, when we're buying clothes or diapers or cars, our price would go up 40 percent. I don't think the people of Indiana are interested in paying 40 percent more for everything you buy at the store, seeing a massive 40% Donald Trump tax. That would put the economy into a recession. And, 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 and beyond that, when you ask Donald, as I have at debates, how do you bring jobs back? He has no idea. He has no answer. Other than he also says, he uses this with Carrier, that he's going he's gonna to punish the companies that leave. Uh, you know, Tony, that, that, that is the response of a big government liberal. That's the same response 
Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton have. We're going to use the power of government to punish anyone. But you've got thousands of people cheering that message. You've got thousands of people who cheer that message and say, at least it's something. How do you respond to those people who you want voting for you and and not Mr. Trump? Sure. I am the only candidate in this race with, with positive, optimistic, real policy solutions for the problems facing this country. My number one priority is jobs and economic growth. Now, where do jobs and economic growth come from? They come from small businesses. What Ronald Reagan and JFK before him understood is when you reduce taxes and lift regulations on small businesses, millions and millions of jobs are created. So as president, I'll repeal every word of Obamacare. It's the single biggest job killer in America. We will pass a simple flat tax and abolish the IRS. We will rein in the EPA, which is killing the coal industry in the state of Indiana, We will rein in the federal regulators that are slamming small businesses, including the Department of Energy, which drove Carrier to Mexico. And we will stop amnesty and end sanctuary cities. And the effect of all of that is going to be to bring millions and millions of new high-paying jobs back to America, to bring manufacturing jobs back to Indiana, to bring jobs back from China, back from Mexico, and to raise wages for the working men and women. And, And... that is how you do it. Donald doesn't know how to do it. And, and Tony, that's why, look, you invited uh, Donald Trump and me to have a debate here in Indiana. It's you know, 40- you, you brought it up. We said that we would host it, and you responded quickly. And, man, it, it's the it's been massive uh, on Twitter and social media, at Tony Katz, at Ted Cruz. It's, I mean, people have responded left, right, and center, some to the positive, some to the negative. What do you think Indiana gets out of this debate? Well, listen, as you said, I've said yes, I'm happy to debate. I've accepted your debate. I've accepted another debate invitation here in Indiana. It's been 47 days since we've had a Republican debate. The Democrats have debated. Hillary Clinton and then Bernie Sanders respect the voters enough to give them a debate. They're planning a second Democratic debate, and yet Donald Trump refuses to debate. I think the people of Indiana deserve a debate, a chance, frankly, to ask, ask the question and, and see the answer that you just asked. What is your answer to economic growth? How are you going to bring jobs back? And it can't just be wave a magic wand and print something on a baseball cap. These are serious times. People are hurting. And we need serious solutions from a real leader, not just someone standing up there yelling. And, and so the reason Donald is terrified to debate is he doesn't have an answer to how to fix these problems. He, he, he has no, no substantive policy proposals behind what he's saying. Uh, instead, it, it is a campaign that is entirely, listen, this is the Kim Kardashian campaign. It is based on yelling and screaming and cursing and insults. But the reason we're seeing so much energy in, in Indiana is I think the people of Indiana want to unify behind a positive, optimistic, forward-looking, conservative campaign based on real policy solutions to the problems facing facing this country. Senator Ted Cruz, I know you're going to be with our own Greg Garrison at 1105. Uh, uh, he, oh, you're, you're going to enjoy that, and so are the people listening. Um, uh, one lawyer to another, because uh, the both of you <laughs> got some skills. Uh, it, it, Harvard versus the country. It's going to be a thing, sir. It's going to be a thing. <laughs> Uh, all, all the be- We're going to talk to you soon. We've got more questions for you, and we hope you'll uh, join us later this week. Well, thank you, Tony. And we're barnstorming the state all week, so you can find out where we're going to be at tedcruz.org, tedcruz.org. Please come out, join a town hall, join a rally. I would love to see you, answer your questions, shake your hands, and I, I would love very much to, to earn your support. And we hope to get a debate or something like it going. I'll keep you Absolutely. posted if I hear things. Senator Ted Cruz, thank you.